hey guys welcome back to another video so today i'm doing a video about products i will rebuy and products i keep rebuying so let's get jump let's just jump right into this today i placed the order for ulta because i realized my my the ordinary hyaluronic acid two percent and b5 serum is basically empty y'all look how much left i have you can't even tell because it's a frosted glass bottle but i'm gonna try to hold it right here it's like nothing left i'm gonna show you guys the inside everything that's in the tube is like what's left it's like nothing left it's empty really so i was like i really love this serum this is my first ever serum um it makes your face very tacky i really like that i always put this on before my moisturizer so and it, it just rehydrates my face because it's winter time and my skin is pretty dry my skin is very dry actually so i always have to use this every every morning i use it every morning i don't use it every night but i use it every morning before I leave, I got to. And I re-bought it today from Ulta because I so was like, yeah, I'm running low. So, and it only costs like $6.50 or $6 and some change. The Ordinary brand, I think their products are pretty good for their price. The next thing I will be rebuying re is this Pixie Rose Tonic. I always wanted to get stuff from T Pixie, but I just never really, I just never really gravitated towards it. So when I went to Target and I was like, I need a toner, I was like, okay, I'm gonna just try Pixie toner. I always saw that stuff and always wanted to buy it. So I was like, let me try this out. And as you guys can see, this this is what I have left. This this lasted me pretty good, pretty long. Um, I got this in November. And it's January right now. So this little bottle, this um 3.4 fluid ounces bottle, it lasted me like two months almost. But I definitely will be buying the fuller size, the bigger size of this. And might check out some more of their skincare. One thing I also will be rebuying is the Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturizer. It's not inside of here. I filled it out with my other moisturizer. But... I, th when I first tried this moisturizer was when I first got into makeup and I was obsessed, but it cost so much. This only holds one ounce, one ounce. Like this costs $25 for one ounce, but I really love this moisturizer and I will splurge on it. I will splurge on it because I really like it. The next product that I keep rebuying and rebuying and rebuying and rebuying is this elf ultimate blending brush this brush has a hold on me i do not know what they put in these bristles but this one sounds like it's ready to fall apart but i don't care i have like i have a bunch of them I have like five of them i can only find two right now here go another one this is three already and i know i have more this is a complexion duo brush by elf I really like this brush as well. It feels just like um the ultimate blending brush. So it's less dense, but it works just as good. Don't people be sleeping on out brushes? Like I can't I'm not splurging on a brush set when I know I can get some good brushes for cheap from Elf. Like their face brushes never miss. They never miss. Another thing I would rebuy, if I if I could rebuy this, I would rebuy it in a heartbeat if they gave me a second chance to rebuy this i would rebuy it it's the it's my ray ray palette the first one she ever came out with it my it's my ray ray palette has been through hell and back y'all because look it um fell apart i get it but as you can see i really love this palette i keep digging into it i've been hit pan on this these pants broke and fell apart. This is on pant. Like, y'all don't understand. When she came out with this, 
I, and I wasn't even that big of a fan of her. I was just like, let me just buy it and see if I like it. I turned out being obsessed with this. Like, this really... This palette really went crazy. I was really going in on this palette. It's a ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So, ColourPop, I have this issue with you. Like, why all my ColourPop concealers... This, this concealer is full, okay? This is brand new. This is brand new. That's how you know it's brand new because it's the same, it's the updated packaging. Because I have a different one and the packaging isn't up. But why do the brushes keep breaking off? Look, there's no brush on it. It broke off inside of that. Like, what? What is going on? How? How? This is a brand new... This is a brand new concealer. And I, I'm going to rebuy it. It only costs $6 too. But this is the first time this has ever happened to me. ColourPop quality is pretty good for the prices to be so cheap. And this is the first time this ever happened to me. I was like, whoa. Like, I'm going to rebuy it because I love their shade. They have a good shade range. And their formula is good. But don't let it happen again. The else I will be rebuying whenever I run out is this Duo Lash Glue. So, everyone been talking about this. They've been talking about this. But I used to just use a different type of glue. But this one is just so easy to brush on. It dried pretty fast, too. That's what I like. Because when I use the one that you guys squeezed out, it takes forever to dry because I apply such a thick layer of glue. Because I have no control over it. But this has a brush, so you have all the control of putting it on your eyelash. So, a product I will not be repurchasing. Let's start with them because... I don't got all the products I liked. Is this is in um a different container, but it's the um makeup revolution banana powder. It's like it it definitely got me through what I needed to get through. Like it did its job, but it like barely did it. Like I think I will just go towards I think I might just try the Fenty Beauty or the Sasha Buttercup powder or maybe even beauty bakery maybe one of those three powders as a and get a banana shade because i don't know like sometimes this powder just doesn't do it for me and i'm saying that like this container isn't empty like as you can see it's not anything left in there really like nothing comes out when i hit the top like i use it up but I think it's time for me to move on to something else. So if you guys have a good banana powder, please comment it down below so I can check it out. Because I'm over Makeup Revolution. So the Makeup Revolution um, powder comes in this type of, um, what you gonna call it? Casing? Whatever, jar? Who is using, like what? This is a mess. If I'm pouring out banana powder, where am I supposed to pour it? In this tiny cap? Like, what? That's why I, I moved it to this. Um, This was a powder I actually bought from the hair store, and it, it gave me hella flashback. It was a white powder. It gave me hella flashback. I dumped, I threw all that powder away and just dumped um half of this in there. This is one thing, too. It comes with hella powder. So, if you... If you want to try it, you're going to be you're going to be stocked up for like years with this because it lasts 12 months. You it lasts, it's supposed to last you a, a year. But you're going to be stocked up with this. But yeah, I'm over it. If I ever want to come back to where I still got this. So one thing I won't be rebuying is off brow pencil. Not that it doesn't do it's like it, it's pigmented and it works for brows. But me personally, this is too fat. Like, and it's, I'm not trying to body shame it. <laughs> but this is like, who's doing that brow to that? Like, it's not even precise. That's like, it's too. Oh, I hear something I will never buy again. Elf. The Elf um makeup remover wipes. These literally, maybe it's just me. I feel like it's other people too. But they burned the they burn my skin like they burn them and there was one time elf had these sensitive or extra sensitive makeup move wipes it was in a blue pack i remember because whenever i saw them at target i straight grabbed them because they would they would be gone i straight grabbed them from target every time i saw them because some like 
they don't they didn't burn my skin but this one in the black pack and i bought and i got two of them obviously i'm gonna use it up until because i'm getting my money's worth but and it's not too bad where it's like oh my god i'm gonna i need to go to a hospital it's like as soon as i'm finished wiping off my makeup i gotta cleanse my face and soothe it like that would be all for this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more just like it and recommend me some please somebody can somebody please recommend me a foundation because why did i buy the um fancy beauty foundation? i've been bought this months ago and shade four something it was more than like 440 it probably was like 450 something why did they send me 200 so i'm thinking maybe i'll just go to sephora and do an exchange and oversee exchange. thank you guys so much for watching this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more if you want a makeup tutorial just eggs i can do any makeup tutorial and check out my makeup tutorials on tiktok that's why i'm mainly shifting off to doing tutorials you guys have a good day and i'll see you in the next video bye